Hi, my name is Tony. I'm your Vice President for Student Activities, and this is just a brief rundown of what I've been doing this year so far. Uh, awareness is um, one of the things I've been working on mainly this year. It's come to my attention over the last couple of years that people really don't know what is going on. So you could be a member of a society and not really know what another society is doing or what the sports things are doing and things like that. So we've tried to set up some pages for um, Team Greenwich, which is a new brand for sport, and Societies of Greenwich, which is a new brand for societies, so that people can just join them and, and see what people are doing. Uh, there will also be a What's On Wednesday video, hopefully weekly at some point, when I can get rooms booked basically for filming, because we want to do some quite interactive stuff with it, and it's just making sure that the facilities are there, um, so still working on that, but hopefully there will be a lot more people knowing a lot more stuff that we do. The main campaign that I'll be running uh, this year is going to be called Why Not On Wednesday. It's going to be a video that basically suggests that because the new Wednesday afternoon policy that the university has put through means that no one in undergrad should have lectures that aren't interchangeable basically after one o'clock. Um, so you should always have the availability to do basically whatever you want on a Wednesday afternoon. Um, the point of the video campaign being that you know, if you wanted to play football, why not on a Wednesday? Um, I wish that there was somewhere where I could do origami with my friends, why not on a Wednesday? Um, I wish there was somewhere that I could learn to write a CV, why not on a Wednesday? Um, so hopefully that will be coming out um, after Christmas, so look forward to that in January. Okay, so the university has put through this new sports strategy, which has specific aims for us. For example, um, top 80 in Bucks by 2020, and also to have 1,000 people participating in sport by 2020. Um, obviously, this is, that would be amazing, and we're going to try and work really, really hard to it, but we've got to try and obviously find the ways that we're going to get there and how we're going to have to develop to get there. Um, as part of that, the university has signed off um, over a million pounds to improve the um, facilities on every old campus. So just working with them to make sure there's um, some student input and we um, get them designed and fitted how we want them in the best way to facilitate the most of our students. One thing I've been working on with the university is regarding extracurricular activities. Uh, all four faculties have their passports now, but it's just trying to get one that everyone can use. Um, so that students aren't, you know, talking to their friends about the different passport things that they're using and having to do different stuff. Obviously it'll be really flexible because all the different courses and all the different faculties are very different so they have different needs. But it's just trying to get one thing that students can relate to to hopefully make it less complicated. Also talking about the idea of co-curricular stuff, so expanding from sports and that sort of activity um, to all sorts of other things. So one idea that someone came up with was about being a single parent and the impact that has on a full-time degree. So looking at ways that things like that should be recognised because they do have an impact on the way that you study. The union has used a company called Cookery to provide their sports kits for five or six years now. And it's come to our attention over the last couple of years that the service hasn't been very good. Um, for us and also for people using the online kit store, it isn't a thing anymore. So we've decided to move um, kit companies. But we've um, had a shop around and we've basically settled on Rhino Teamwear. They've got some really good quality stuff. The delivery times are basically half what cookery's worth. And the online kit store as well can be really flexible and it, we work well with our clubs as well as having a standard stuff for people to, um, to buy as well. The university used to run a competition called the Greenwich Olympiad. It's an inter-faculty uh, staff and students set of competitions and basically we're looking to revive that so hopefully look out for it soon. There should be some inter-faculty competitions going around and then a really big event hopefully mid-February for everyone to get involved. So please participate tell your friends and represent your faculty. So we've been working with GK Unions on stuff like the C4 building, uh, what the bar and the building should be called, 
and most of the operational stuff is, is done and underway, so that should be good to go for next year. Looking at, there's been a bit of a drop in sports membership, so looking at maybe the possible barriers and the way that we can tackle them, speaking to Kent and hopefully do something together to work on those. Uh, also, Varsity will be coming up, so we're talking about from both both sides and the operational side of that, how it's going to work. It's in Medway this year, um, so looking forward to that. And also, they've got quite a good um, culture with the whole team Medway thing already, so not too much um, help needed, but any support that I can give them, just offering that.